Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. Sorry there's some shadows. The light in here in the morning is kind of weird. Um, let me turn on one light, see if that helps. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so I found this little frame at uh, Craft Warehouse and I thought it was really cute. It's got the string across with the little clips. Um, and so I've been racking my brain trying to think of something and I think I'm having a creative explosion or something because I have about four projects going right now. So I apologize if I'm kind of all over the place um, and too much coffee this morning. <laughs> but I wanted to show this to you guys since I had this idea. Okay, so I'm going to take this frame and I'm just going to do a quick kind of whitewash. I just have some water and some regular acrylic paint right here. And I want it pretty wet because I'm just going to, I just want it whitewashed. I don't want it like, you know, just painted white. I want it just lightly because I kind of like some of the grain in this wood and I didn't sand it or anything. Probably would be better if I did, but I'm just kind of on that mode of wanting to get stuff done. Um, I like to make kind of creative gifts. I don't always like to go to the store like for a baby shower or a wedding or whatever and buy stuff because it seems like people get a lot of the same cards and gifts and all that when you do that so I'm taking a t-shirt and I'm just gonna kind of wipe it so um, I like to make things like this for people I don't know just something different but anyway so we're just gonna whitewash if you need more paint get more paint less paint get water whatever nothing big or difficult Hope everybody's having a great day. It's a beautiful day outside, but it's going to be a hot one here in the west. One thing we don't have is humidity. I feel bad for the people in the east that have to deal with that high humidity along with the heat. That would be a difficult thing to have to do. So I'm glad I don't have to deal with that. Another good thing about painting this this way is that um, it's going to dry a lot faster. So if you're like me and totally impatient, then uh, this might be a good good solution for you. I do not have a lot of patience. Especially when I'm crafting for some reason, I like, I want stuff done. I think that's why I don't sew because I just, oh my gosh, I can't deal with the patterns and the ironing and the, I don't know, it just seems so tedious to me. But I know a lot of people do it and are great at it. <laughs> and I wish I was, but anyway. Um, but I do love doing stuff like this. I love to paint and I do some needle felting, which I may do a couple uh, tutorials on that come fall time. Uh, I like to do pumpkins and I know there are a lot of tutorials on like pumpkins and stuff like that, but I'll be showing you guys all kinds of stuff. I do uh, Christmas ornaments a lot in the winter. I like to have those on hand because it never fails. You know, people come to your house and have a gift and you don't have one for them which is the worst feeling ever and so um i like to just have things like this on hand or you know in case stuff comes up and i don't have the time to create something if i have a few things at the ready i can just get them out and have something nice to give instead of just the regular store-bought not that there's anything in the store-bought i just like to make stuff so so see, there, this hasn't changed the color a ton. I mean, you're probably like, wow, that's like not even anything. But that's just kind of what I wanted. I didn't want it like super duper white because with the way I'm going to do this, I don't want it to look too modern or new or whatever. So anyway, um, so that's that. I'm going to set that over here to dry for a second. It shouldn't take very long because it's uh, not very wet. Take the glass off the top and then I'm going to do this little inside part too with the little clips. I'm going to leave the clips the natural wood color. I just kind of like them like that. But you could definitely paint them white if that's what you wanted to do. It, it, would, it would be pretty either way. Yeah, like I was saying, I've got like four projects going. I have a trying to do a junk journal again and if I can make it turn out the way I want it to unlike my failure that I showed 
um, some of you in my my zine junk zine um, video then I will show it to you guys if I ever get it done so I've got that going and I just did the cookbook yesterday and I don't know I just have all these ideas that keep popping into my head which is great it's just hard to do life and do all this stuff too <laughs> the creative brain won't let you do anything until you feed it make it happen so anyway and I've been watching uh, Nick the booksmith who I just I love her stuff so much and kind of the journal that I'm doing is um, it's not off of a classic book she just had a classic book challenge which I thought was really cool I missed that because I wasn't really I wasn't doing videos at that time and I just I didn't know about her until very recently and uh, but I did watch some of those it was a classic book challenge where you had to make a junk journal based off of a classic book and that was just a really neat idea and I loved seeing what people came up with and so it kind of inspired me to get this try to do this junk journal that I want to do and I'm doing it off of a children's book which you know isn't the same as reading a classic but it was just a book that I loved when I was a kid I loved the pictures in it more than anything and so um, I'll I'll be showing that video as soon as I get done with that junk journal it's almost there but not quite Okay, so that's all I'm going to do. Just a simple whitewash. It's barely anything, as you can see. It's not super white. Oh, right there, I need a little bit more. Um, but I just kind of like that. And this part in here isn't as big a deal because you're really not going to see like these edges because they go inside of the frame. So I guess I didn't need to worry about that. But anyway. Okay, so there's that part, and I'm just going to let it dry. And it, like I said, it shouldn't take long. And I'm going to come back in just a minute. All right, I am back. So um, this is that back part, and the reason I didn't paint this is because I'm going to cover it with paper. It's a little bit warped, but I think once it's in the frame, it'll be okay. It's just a really thin wood. So I cut a piece of scrapbook paper. This is, it's supposed to be Christmas paper, but um, I just liked the stripes. It kind of looks like... Um, wallpaper and it's uh, Brenda O'Neill Sweet Seasons and Candy Party Webster's Pages so I'm using that I just cut a piece off of that and then on the bottom down here I put a piece of vellum so I just did kind of like a book cover fold I know it's really hard to see because of the it's so light and then the camera doesn't want to pick it up but anyway it's just a piece of vellum that I've folded at the bottom and on the sides so that it just makes like a little pocket down here at the bottom. Okay, and uh, you'll see why in just a minute. So I cut it to the size of this little board. I'm going to glue it on there and then I'm going to show you why I have the pocket. <clears throat> and um, you can use whatever kind of glue. I like the wings, as I've said before. I know a lot of people use the Fabri-Tac and what I mean, yeah, that's great. I love that too. I just don't have any at the moment, so. And I think this will work fine since it's just paper on this wood. So I'm just putting this on that back to decorate that. And I think I did cut it a little larger than the board, which I didn't really need to do, but. Just really squeeze that glue out into the edges so that you don't have it lift on you. And it's a little bigger. I'll have to trim it later, but it's fine for right now. Okay, I think it's down. All right, and then I am using these Letty Lane paper dolls. And I got this one at an antique shop, but um, I checked on Amazon, and I'll be putting a link below to these. So you can still get these exact paper dolls there. Um, and I cut out all the baby ones. And so 
the baby comes in and out of the bed, they had it so that you just cut along this little tiny line right here for the baby. I think they meant for you to like put the baby's head through. But I want this to be used as a decoration possibly for a baby's room. And then later like the little girl might be able to play with these paper dolls. So I um, cut the opening on the bed bigger so that you could slide the doll down this way but I didn't want her to fall out, so I put a little pocket. I don't know if you can see that. There's just a little piece of white paper that I made a pocket out of, so when you slide her in, she's only going to go so far. She won't fall all the way out of the bottom. <clears throat> and then, see, so you can just put these in here like this. And let's see. She's got all kinds of, on that page in the Letty Lane paper dolls, there's all kinds of little, you know, like the... Um, all the baby stuff, powder, diapers, you know, cloth diapers, because these are old, the vintage looking dolls. This is like a wash basin. And then, sorry, I didn't turn off my phone, so it's ringing. <laughs> I apologize. And this is like a little soap dish that goes with the wash basin and a little ball. And so that is the reason for the pocket at the bottom, because I just wanted to be able to tuck these things in there, but I still wanted to be able to see them since we're putting it in a frame and a teddy bear and a little dolly so you're tucking all those in there and then i think let me see yeah this isn't totally totally dry so i'm not going to set it on top but i'm going to take these and you would wait for it to dry because you're smarter than i am <laughs> but uh it is what it is so i'm going to take the little clips and i'm going to put uh, like this little dress and the little jacket that goes with it just clip them on and you can clip them on any way you want if you want to clip them onto that little paper tab or whatever that's great see like this one I'll hook this way maybe this little sideways. okay like this and then I'm going to in the frame set it on here like Sorry, way out of frame. Like so. And it'll be like this. Okay. And then I'm also going to take a couple of clips because the, um, the frame came with some string and some extras of the little clips. So I'm going to hot glue them right about here and maybe right here with more of the little dresses and clothes and things that she has. And then I will be putting this on there and maybe sliding these down a little bit further so that you can see all the um, little dresses and things. And I'm going to put it back together and then I'm going to come back and show you guys. I just want to make sure that this paint is all the way dry before I do that. I don't want to ruin it by putting paint on there. So I will be back. Okay, hi everybody. I am back. I finished it up. So this is what the end result looks like. I did, there's a string, the string that goes across with the clothespins on it, I put behind um, the baby's bed, just so there's not a distracting string going across the baby's bed. And then up in the corner, sorry about the glare on the glass, I put just some crocheted flowers. There's a um, like silk button, covered button, and a little um, pacifier there. And so but I, th I just think, wouldn't that make a nice baby shower gift or whatever and they could put it on the shelf in the baby's room and then as she gets older with some help from mom or dad or grandma or whoever take the paper dolls out of the frame because this is glass I wouldn't want to you know have a problem with that but that's it all finished you could even put a nice little uh, message on the back of the frame just to tell the person you know what your all those kind of keepsake type things so um, I hope you all have a great day and please subscribe. Bye-bye.